you guys, we are here at Fiesta. Peja. Hey. Jade. Oh, hey. <laughs> We're at Fiesta grocery store. And this is a tip that Monty gave us. And look, they sell. Now, this is, you come, it's an aisle. Oh. Um, and they have a bunch of uh, body wash or body splash, which I've never seen, like magical body washes. And those are $7.69. They have floor washes and body wash, $3.49. And then they have powders. These are all different powders. And these are $3.99 each. They got several of those. And then the, here are the oils, the $2.19 each. And here are all the oils. Trying to go slow so y'all can see what there is. Now, you know, these oils don't have any of uh, the herbs and stuff in there, but I'm going to show you what y'all can do with these oils to help uh, boost them up. See? That's a really good price for these oils because I've seen these oils at certain uh, magic shops for up to $6. Okay, so then they have uh, powders for $1.99. Those are really good. The powders. These are very good to have if you want to make mojo bags, you want to use powders, or you can even add some of this powder to your magical oils if you want to boost them up. Um, and then down here they have the the magical soaps that you can bathe with the bar soaps. And those are two two thirty nine. Soaps are short on silks so because everybody take a bath with them. And then um, here, put this in my in my thing. I want some of that. And then here's some more floor washes. These these are a mixture of floor and bath washes, and those are um, two nineteen. Okay. And then down here, there's more things here. I have some of this, but I forgot what I use it for. I wanted to go home and I looked that up. But they also have it in soap, and they have some colognes and Florida water. And then down here they have some olive oil juice, um, or the gel, I should say, and some spray and some charcoal. Um, charcoals are $3.99 and sprays are $3.99 and those are $6.99 for the for the aloe vera gel anyway I just wanted to show y'all this now we're gonna go where the candles are so y'all can see that okay everybody right, we're, we're back. back and I'm gonna show you all the candles we're still in Fiesta and this is aisle 5 there's shades in the back looking so here you're gonna see I'm gonna show y'all wide angle here see all the candles here right next to the sodas okay so you're gonna see a bunch of um, candles like this give you a lot of your seat candles and look at these super cute little candles look they're like half the size of a big candle these are like 99 cents these big candles are $1.79 which are a great price so you have a lot of your saint candles and then down here for 99 cents you have a lot of your solid color uh, candles you know if you don't want to use a candle like this like that's already marked for something you can get the, the solid colors i always make sure that i keep a supply of solid colors you know for example i would use a purple for psychic work like if i'm doing tarot cards or if i want to work with my third eye i'm definitely going to use purple that's just for psychic awareness for myself i would use blue for calm if i'm doing something for a common effect or some type of spell for calm and peace i'm going to use blue green of course for money uh red for love or lust i would use yellow for road openers or something uplifting um maybe breaking someone out of a habit i would use that down here you have a lot of like the uh la santissima Muerte candles which i buy a lot of these because i burn a candle on her altar uh, and they come in several colors so example if i want to do a love spell and I want La Santissima Marta to aid me, I'm going to use this candle. You don't have to. You can use a red candle, but this kind of knocks two out in one for me. Um, then you have a lot of other candles here. See, so they all have different, they all have different stuff. And look at these cute little candles here. These are the small ones, a plain white one. You can do a lot of things with plain white ones. It's like a generic candle. I love these, so you can do so many things with this more candles up here and a lot of you see these are like a dollar some are some are two some are you know a dollar seventy nine some are seven dollars like these down there those are seven forty nine and most of those because they're um fixed and dressed with stuff in it as you can see up here i don't know if you can see that it's got herbs and stuff in there but i'm going to show you a little trick with that too um these are great to buy if you don't have 
supplies because you know you can get everything at once. Um, more scent candles. Look at these cool candles. They come in a glass. Isn't that awesome? A lot of candles. Now, what I was gonna, what I was gonna give y'all a hint on these. I'm gonna show y'all now because I'm not going to take this candle home. But you see, this candle comes in a glass. Okay, let's see if I can do this. Okay, so this whole candle comes out, right? And you have the glass. All right, so what you can do in things like this, you can put in the bottom of your glass, you can put herbs and oils, you can put pictures or your petition paper in the bottom of the glass, and then put your candle back in it and burn it like that if you don't want to put the stuff in here. Um, some of these candles like this, they don't come out. Sometimes they do. Sometimes you can wiggle them and they'll come out. But in a case like this, if you had a, some, a say, candle like this, and you wanted to do that whole glass thing, you can put this inside of a bigger glass, put your oil and herbs, petition paper, photos, and put your candle in it. Um, they got these big candles like this. Now this is just a generic blank one again. These right here cost about $11, $12, some are $10, and these are 14 day candles. 14, if you burn it straight, it lasts up to 14 days. And they have these like in saints and up in the front, they have them also in uh, like separation, uh, divorce, love, candles, things like that. These are the taper candles, they're 50 cents. These are great to do that money spell that I showed y'all. This is the kind of size that I needed. I ended up getting that big one, but it worked out just fine. And they got some red ones. Okay, so in a minute I'm gonna go around the other side. I'm gonna show you all of the other herbs and stuff that they have. Okay, we're back here with all of the dry goods. So, okay, so even though these are like we're culinary, you can use these to stock up your stuff. Like this and this one, this is rose petals for a dollar nineteen. In fact, I'm gonna take another one of these. And so, these are just all dried herbs. Now, of course, you can use them for eating, or you can use them in your um, witchcraft. You know, uh, as far as like um, kitchen witchery or um, in your mojo bags or your candle work, things like that. Of course, you can't use all of these, but some of these things you can. Like these peppers, you can use your chili peppers. You can cut off the tails off all these chili peppers and make your devil's tails. Um, the cinnamon sticks. In fact, I'm gonna take another one of these. Take two more of those, because I use a lot of cinnamon sticks. Ground cinnamon for your um, love spells, nutmeg. Um, Lots of good stuff. Chamomile, it's nice. Now, using shredded coconut is really good also um, in spell work, although I never use it because I always eat it. <laughs> but deep cut, here's some alum. Um, there's usually a lot of things here that you can't find in other places. Um, There are some, lots of, uh, I'm just reading as I'm showing you guys. So yeah, this is a good place. Let's look at this one. Seven Blossoms is really good to have. Here's some bay leaves. So I just got 79 cents for some bay leaves. Come on. That's really good. Anyway, I just wanted to show you guys if y'all can come and buy a bunch of herbs and dried ingredients. Really, really cheap. All these things are 99 cents, 79 cents, or a little bit over a dollar. Right.